Story time, story time, story time with Nanny. This one is called I Will Not Ever Never Eat a Tomato. And it's your favourite, Amelia, Charlie and Lola. We like this one, don't we? And you've got this book at home, so you know this story, don't you? I have this little sister, Lola. She's small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mum and dad ask me to give her her dinner. This is a very hard job because she's a very, very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day I played a good trick on her. She was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner and Lola said, Lola said I do not eat, eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower, cabbage, baked beans, bananas or oranges. I'm not really that keen on apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and I absolutely will not ever never eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. Oh dear. And I said, well that's lucky because we're not having any of those things. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower, cabbage, baked beans, bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and certainly no tomatoes. She should be happy then, shouldn't she? Let's see. Lola looks at the table. But why are those carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. Oh, you think that they're carrots? They're not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, says Lola. But how can they be carrots, I say? Carrots don't even grow on Jupiter. Mm, well, that's true, says Lola. Well, I might just try one, if they're all the way from Jupiter. Mm, not bad, she says, taking another bite. There she is, look. Then Lola sees some peas. Oh, I don't eat peas, says Lola. I say, they're not peas. Of course they're not. They are little green drops from Greenland. They are made out of green and fall from the sky. But, but I don't eat green things, says Lola. Oh, goody, I say. I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, says Lola. Quite tasty. Uh-oh. Next, Lola spies the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try. Not even mash. Oh, this isn't mash. People often think that, but no, this is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh, well, in that case, I'll have a large helping. I like to eat cloud. Charlie, she says, and they look like fish fingers to me, and I would never, never eat a fish finger. I know that, but these are not fish fingers. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I've been to that supermarket, I think, one time with Mum. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, Lola says, while she's gobbling them up. Are there any more? And then Lola says, Charlie, will you... Pass me one of those, and I say, what? One of those? What could it be? And Lola says, 
Yes, Charlie, what, what, one of those. And I can't believe my eyes, because guess what she's pointing at? <gasps> the tomato. And I say, oh, are you sure? Really? One of those? And she says, yes, of course. Moon squirters are my favourite. Wow. So she's eating a tomato and calling it a moon squirter. Strange, isn't she, Lola? You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? And look at that now. Lola eats all sorts of lovely food, doesn't she? Well done, Charlie. Story time, story time, story time with Nanny.